We just showed you the American League pennant prices here on this Monday on the early line. One week out from the MLB All-Star break. We'll show you the National League pennant prices and get your take, that being the public, to start off our third hour. Now the individual races, Donnie, following the 4th of July weekend and a long holiday weekend at that. Aaron Judge still remains the hefty odds-on favorite to win the AL MVP award if he is even healthy for a majority of the home stretch in second half of this season he is going to win that mvp award in my estimation minus 280 well in front of gunner henderson who is having a great season for baltimore but still behind aaron judge Tarek skubal putting on display yesterday why he is the front runner for the al cy young award 13 strikeouts in a tigers 5-1 victory over the reds to complete the sweep and as we share donnie breaking down that game skubal plus 110 Baltimore's Corbin Burns at plus 230, separated by just over a dollar. A large drop off to Seth Lugo of the Royals at 14 to 1. Seems to be a two guy race for the American League Cy Young hardware. Yeah, we're getting separators right now, and rightfully so. Tarek Skubal fresh off another dominating performance yesterday. You know he's going to get that bump. But also, we'll take a look at the Baltimore Orioles now. A few games in first place lead over the New York Yankees in the AL East. Burns is every bit as deserving. And this just might come down to, once again, who's going to get those extra starts at the end of the season. Skubal's still a young pitcher in Major League Baseball. We don't think Detroit is going to make the playoffs. So in that final three weeks of the season, when they're de facto just playing out the string, are yeah. you going to allow him to get those final couple starts here to try to win that award? Or are you going to say, look, hey, those awards are going to come. You did enough work here over the summer. We're going to shut you down for those finals two weeks when Corbin Burns might be pitching in the final weekend of the, of the Major League Baseball season, Ben, in enough yeah. to win maybe the pennant or become a first-place team entering into the playoffs and win the AL East. That's something to keep an eye on. Getting back to the MVP race, it is Aaron Judge's to lose. Right now, also, that minus 250 is now turned into a minus 300 price on Aaron Judge. So yeah. it looks like all you're betting right now in the American League in that MVP race is, are you thinking that Aaron Judge is going to be healthy? And what I mean healthy is he could go on an IL stint for a week, maybe two weeks, and still get away with it. But you just can't have that devastating injury that's going to hamper his numbers. So if you're going to take a flyer on, let's just say, Gunnar Henderson, you're basically just betting that Aaron Judge is going to get hurt at this point because Judge is having a phenomenal season. And if the season ended yeah. right now, it's Aaron Judge in a runaway. Minus 300 for Judge. We also have a hefty yeah. favorite to win the National League MVP award. Minus 330 on Shohei Otani. In fact, we have Aaron Judge versus the field in the American League. Otani versus the field in the National League. Judge to win it in the AL. Minus 300. The field plus 230. Otani to win it in the National League. Minus 330. The field plus 250. We'll talk NL in just a moment. Donnie, I do want to highlight Stephen Vogt who right now is the odds-on favorite to win the AL Manager of the Year at minus 130. The first-year skipper for the Guardians, the best team in the American League. Vote is only 39 years old. If the name sounds familiar, it's because he wrapped up his Major League Baseball career in Oakland just two seasons back in 2022, playing on the diamond. Now he's leading Cleveland to the best record in the AL. Yeah, long-time veteran catcher there, so certainly a player's yeah. manager, as you would know. And a minus 130 price is something that you might want to check into because if they do win that division, he's going to win that award. The only thing that could change is Cleveland drops back in the central race, and then you take a look and say, well, Alex Cora's Boston team was, for me, left for yeah. dead game number one in the Major League Baseball season, now 49-40, and 40, but they're not going to win the division, one would think, for Boston, so you don't get those extra bonus points. You probably have to win the division unless you're doing something spectacular on a team that nobody ever thought would do. So Stephen Vogt right now, certainly in first place. If they fall out of it, then it's going to be Alex Cora, I do believe, because it means Boston probably had a damn good season and made the playoffs when I didn't even expect yeah. that. Now over to the National League. Should Shohei Otani DRS be this strong of a favorite to win the NL MVP award? Yeah, he should be at this point because he is the best player right now. Now, granted, I say this. Bryce Harper is at a 91 price. He's going to come back, and he can right. certainly – you know, shorten those numbers. But I always get a kick out of how is the actual betting public and also how are the writers who vote on this thing going to take an opportunity to say, well, okay, if somebody's close to Shohei Otani in statistics, 
the everyday player is going to get the bump over Shohei Otani, who's just a DH at this point. If Shohei Otani was pitching to a 4-5 ERA, he'd be running away and be a minus 1,300 once again to win this award, but he's not. So I'm interested to see if Bryce Harper can come back after the All-Star break and make that a closer race, which I think he will. When you look at the National League Cy Young Award, only two guys with a three-digit price. Zach Wheeler, plus 135. Chris Sale, a resurgence in Atlanta. Paul Skeens, 50-1. to 1, The heavy favorites win National League wow. Rookie of the Year. More TEL next.